Hi guys, it's PowerJM, and uh, some of you might have noticed that I've actually taken down my 2018 stash video. Um, that was for a number of reasons, but the main reason was that I actually forgot to put in a couple of fireworks into the video. Um, also, since then, I've added two new fireworks into the stash. So I thought, well, rather than you know, mess about, I thought, well, okay, I'll, I'll scrap it, take it down and just redo it again. Um, so this is basically going to be my complete stash for this year uh, for my display. There might be some other stuff that I'll add later on. I, I doubt it very much um, just because, um, yeah, I don't want to spend as much as I have done in the past on fireworks this year. Um, a few other things that are going on during that time of year for me anyway. So, so that's why we're looking at a considerably smaller stash. Um, also, some of these you would have seen in my other videos that I uploaded recently, so like the Aries, Thunderous Finale and all that, you would have seen those in, in, my other, um, in my other video that I did recently, but I thought I would just go ahead and post everything in one go. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack on and I will show you guys what we have. Um, I'm going to treat it like you haven't seen my other videos, so I will look at everything in detail. So starting off with Red Baron, this is a 100 shot 20 millimeter cake from Yorgi Fireworks, JW2025. Um, a 100 shot cake, a variety of effects. Um, when I bought it, I didn't actually see the video of it. Um, I just liked the graphics and it was a really cheap price. So I um, went ahead and got it. But that is the effects, if you wanted to pause it and read those. Um, or just type it in on YouTube, plenty of videos of this one online. So that's Red Baron. Next up we have Aries, which is a 100 shot fanned cake by Panta. Really good weight to this one. This is one of the misfires that I had. Um, that's actually the spare fuse there that you can see, but that fires it backwards. So rather than try and light that during last year's display, I thought, well, I'll just refuse it and, uh, and do it properly this year. You can see that the mud's still on the bottom of the firework. It was truly horrendous weather conditions for the last New Year's. But this is a really beautiful firework. Um, I'm you know, really looking forward to seeing this one because it is, uh, it is a stunner. Moving on to another one of the misfires that I had from last year. This was Thunderous Finale. Everyone knows that one. It's one of the most famous fireworks from Epic, um, along with Screaming Spiders. 64 shots, very loud. Um, Lots of bright colours, um, but yeah, very nice cake. Then we have Stealth Rising by Celtic. I think one of the best fan cakes on the market. And the Celtic stuff, I mean, generally sells out pretty quick. Um, Stealth Rising has sort of come and gone in the past couple of years. People seem to get it in small batches, um, but it's a wonderful firework. And if you do get the opportunity to get it, please do. It will it will blow you away. I think it's one of the most amazing sort of single effect um, fireworks on the market. Uh, moving on to some rockets, we have the customary pack of Warhawks by Brightstar. I think, again, uh, I know I'm really boring, I've said it many times, but pound for pound, these are, in my view, the very best rockets on the market. Um, for the price, I think it's like 20 quid or 15 quid. You just can't get better. The The brakes are absolutely huge on these. So do yourself a favor and get a pack if you haven't tried them already. Uh, moving on to the Cyclops rocket pack from Kimbleton. Uh, Kim Bolton. Um, I was actually given these for my birthday back in uh, earlier this year. And I, yeah, Kimbleton, I haven't got much experience with Kimbleton. Um, the general consensus from what I can read online is people say that they are expensive and they're generally, their quality is not quite as good. Um, from what I've tried, I've only tried, um, I've only tried the Jumping Jelly Beans Fountain, which was really good. And then I tried a cake, which seemed to have quite large tubes but when I actually fired it off, the brakes were not quite as big as I expected and the quality wasn't anywhere near as good as I expected for the price. And that was because the tubes, as you can see here on all of these, the lining of the tube is all fairly similar. I mean, that's sort of a fairly 
average industry standard. But what Kimbleton did on, on this particular cake, and I don't know whether they do it on all of them, but if they do, then it's really bad. Um, they will have a tube of this diameter uh, in terms of the actual width of it, but the inner part of it will be a lot smaller because the, the, the actual wall is very thick. So the projectile coming out of it is considerably smaller than the diameter of the tube or what it looks like without ripping the top off. Um, I think that's really bad, to be honest. And I know that they can probably turn around and say, well, you know, we, we have thicker walls on ours for safety. Well, look, when you look at these, these are safe, these are good, and they're all consistent. You can even see here. You know they're all they're all consistent, so I, I don't really buy that if that's what they're going to say. Um, but overall, I don't think I will be trying anything else from Kimbleton. If you have tried stuff from Kimbleton and you have a different opinion and, and they are very good, then please do let me know. Um, if there's anything in particular that you recommend me to try, I'm happy to go ahead and try and find that product and try it out myself. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion from from the cake that I tried. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but if you go back to one of my older videos, not last year, but the year before last, um, it was in one of those stash videos that you'll see. I think it might've been the video where I had Jabberwocky from Brothers Pyrotechnics. Um, so yeah, that's about two years old, that, that video. Um, then we also have a pack of candles. Now this is one of the new ones that I, uh, again, was given to try out. A brand I'm not familiar with. Um, I have done some research and they seem to be very popular over in Eastern Europe. And this is called Gao Fireworks. And these are the Jupiter X Black Big Shot 25 millimeter. Um, these are five shot candles. There's a couple of videos on them online, decent decent weight to them, um, and pretty pretty big effects uh, from what I remember. Um, yeah, actually I, I had a look at quite a few of the items from this company and they looked very, very impressive, very good quality. So I'm surprised that, um, I'm surprised that uh, shops don't seem to stock them over here. Um, I don't know why. Um, I think that they might have been Polish, the so same as uh, Yorgi and I think Panta. Um, but yeah, thought I'd uh, give these a try, a bit unusual. Uh, Screaming Eagles, uh, 72 shot cake from Taipan, a very, very good cake um, for the, you know, this is a, would be classed as a, a small fan cake. But very, very good. I love the, var the variety of effects on it. Um, I have tried it before and it was excellent. So I went ahead and got it from Galactic Fireworks this year again. The TARDIS from Celtic Fireworks. Now this is one of the prizes I got uh, on the Galactic Fireworks fun demonstration day. I came first in one of the competitions there. And uh, there we are, first prize. Uh, and this is what I got. And that is the TARDIS, which uh, I have tried before. It's a beautiful it's display in a box, basically. It does all sorts of effects. It's a 1.3G firework um, and is very, very impressive. I can't remember how many shots it actually is. Um, no, I can't remember how many shots it is. I think it was like 133 or something like that. But um, a very, very good firework. If you're looking for a display in a box, then I would definitely recommend the TARDIS. Moving on to Night Sky Storm, and this is by Skycrafter, which is basically the budget range of Brothers Pyrotechnics. Um, and this was one of the ones that was on offer on the Galactic Fireworks Day. I think it was 12 pounds, yeah, 12 pounds. So you really can't go wrong for that. Um, so a 30 shot cake, I think one of the nicest, um, it's, it's a good all-round filler cake uh, for a display, I think. So, got that one, and I was very pleased to see this one back in stock at Galactic. This is Raging Spiders by Bright Star Fireworks. And this is a very unusual firework. If you haven't seen it before, then please do have a look at the video. Um, it's a very unusual one in the sense that it starts off with a fountain, 
um, a large crackling fountain and then shots start to fire up and they start producing these beautiful uh, gold spiders webs and crackles really really nice but the real kicker for this cake is this ring of shots that you can see all around the outside they fire all at the same time as the finale for this cake and they're all angled and it just creates this massive circle in the sky which is simply breathtaking. Um, now this is the new version of Raging Spiders or the new batch should I say so the first difference I've seen it looks to me like these um, outer shot tubes are actually a little bit smaller than the previous ones and also they don't stick out quite as much um, they're actually a bit more sort of um, sit flush with the firework so hopefully it'll still be as good as the other one um, another new one that I was given to try out um, this one actually the bottom was not in good condition so I've actually put some tape on there um, but this is called Frank or Frank Frank I don't know Frankenstein I presume uh, and this is by classic now we've seen a couple of fireworks from them uh, available in the in the shops I think brocade um, brocade war something like that very loud firework uh, this is from the Czech Republic and this is basically a fountain uh, it's a 100 gram fountain really nice um, I've seen a few videos online it does like a crackling effect and it also has some shots in there so just like comets and some whistles but a really nice fountain from what I could see so looking forward to trying that one out Hocus Pocus I have tried this before this is a really lovely fountain from Brothers and um, essentially it's a three stage fountain and in between the stages the fountain will erupt with a crackling mine which can really take you by surprise if you're not you know aware of what firework it is um, it can you know really give a, a nice little ooh ah moment for the for the kids and for the people watching so a fantastic fountain by brothers and this is a new one for this year uh, vampire fountain by fireworks international this is one of those um, growing trend really in sort of strobe effects so the mouth lights up along with the eyes at one stage but um, Nigel from Galactic really did love this one and, and he said it's his favorite for this year. So I thought I would go ahead and, and give it a go. 120 grams of powder. I'm sure the kids will love that one. Moving on to uh, Crazy Whistling Comets, which is again by Yorgi. JW31 is the number for this one. 300 shots. Now, this one also didn't fire from last year's display. It's actually the second year in a row that Crazy Whistling Comets didn't go off, um, so a little bit disappointed, but I um, don't know whether maybe the fusing on them is not so good, but um, yeah, so at least I managed to save it from the rain uh, this year, so it, um, it will go off. But I think one of the best uh, whistling cakes out there um, with a pencil lid sort of formation on the top, um, doesn't last too long. Sometimes you can get these whistling cakes and they, they either go off ridiculously quickly or they just last far too long. But this one is nice. It's, I think it's perfect timing. So we've got uh, that one there. And then below that we have uh, Fireworks Crazy by Brothers. This is an award-winning firework, 100 shots. Simply amazing. I think one of the very best fireworks on the market. It wasn't available last year, but back in this year, so. Very pleased to get that one there. Um, Hellcats by TNT, the Night Theatre. Really nice little 16 shot cake, red, green palms, some crackles. This was one of the ones that was available on offer uh, in the Galactic Fireworks Fun Day and it was only three pounds. So I thought, why not go ahead and buy that one. Um, this one was also available on the Fireworks uh, Galactic Day, uh, and this is called Mario. Bit of an unusual cake, this one, by El Toro. 25 shots, no idea what it does. This was four pounds, so pretty cool. Thought we'd go ahead and purchase that one. Then we've got a couple of the 16 shot cakes um, from Galactic. 
And uh, these are the, from the buy one get one free range. So if you have a look at their website now, you will see a variety of uh, of uh, 25 shot cakes, I'm sorry, 25 shot cakes. Um, and they are all buy one get one free. You can mix and match. Um, or if you order them online, you know, if you add one shades of gold to your basket, they'll send you two. But this is uh, the ones that I got. So we got uh, shades of gold, 25 shots, and shades of silver, both by Fireworks International. Now what's unusual about these is that rather than like the rest of these fireworks, it's just a series of tubes with space in the middle in between the tubes. This is essentially just, a, it's, it's a cast mold. Now I don't know whether you can see, kind of hard to, mm, yeah, I don't know whether you can see, but it, it's essentially, it's, it, it's, it's a mold. It's one big mold, um, which it, it weighs quite a bit more. You can see that's the thick, the outer wall of the mold. Um, and it just basically has the, the holes drilled into the mold and then the powder filled in. Why they've done that, I don't know. Um, it seems to me like it would be probably a more expensive way of doing it, but um, yeah, very unusual. I think I've only seen this type of firework in, um, in America. I think it was one of the YouTubers, I think his name is Joel Robinson. Um, he does some great firework videos and um, I think he bought a firework once which, which had this sort of style. Um, but what it's actually supposed to do in terms of enhancing the effects, I don't know. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'll stop blabbering on about that. So shades of gold, shades of silver, pretty much that's exactly what it says on the tin. Um, I will show you the effects just quick so you can see that. Um, if I can find the effects. Yeah, all, all gold. Gold chrysanthemum tails, brocade crowns, stunning golden cracking finale. And I think the other one is pretty much the same. Silver chrysanthemum tails, silver fish, stunning silver crackling finale. Right, talking a lot about a 25 shot cake, but there we go. Uh, Lemon Bombard, this is basically the twin brother of Cheeky Cherries by Fireworks International. And a really nice little cake, just lots of yellows and uh, crackles. And then we also have Purple People Eater by uh, TNT, the Night Theatre. Some nice uh, golds and crackles and purple colours. Just quite a cool one um, for, the, uh, for the kids. Then uh, this one here I have already shown you before. This is called Jane Bond. This is a 25 shot cake by Tiger. Um, Really cool looking cake if you're a Bond fan. Um, gold Willow, Brocade Crown, Green Strobe. And uh, good to see that Firework has two fuses. That's always a good sign. Yeah, that's from uh, Tiger Brand. Never heard of that before. But uh, I have seen a few videos of it online. It looked pretty good. Another new addition is this quite big cake. Uh, it is a 475 grams, as far as I remember. Yeah, 475 grams of powder. Frankenstein, again by the Czech Republic company Classic. And this looked very impressive, actually. Um, I saw, I, I bought it just, again, cool graphics like Red Baron, um, but um, it it's a very impressive cake, actually. Uh, all it says is five different colour effects, but it, it's significantly better than that description. Um, have a look at it online anyway. Um, I'm not sure if any shops will stock it. Um, I got this from, uh, from a friend of mine and it was pretty cheap, so I thought I would go ahead and try it out. Um, I don't know where he got it from, but uh, Classic is a brand that we do see in this country, so maybe it, it will be available this year, I don't know. But have a look at that one. And then we have... Uh, Mishmash Mini. Now I was in between this one and Fireworks Crazy Mini. Um, so I decided to go with the Mishmash because this I think is awesome. Um, I looked at the video, it's a 1.3G and anything by Celtic is gonna be very, very good. 350 grams of powder. There is the uh, description. Uh, sorry, the stats for it. So 100 shots, 55 seconds. 
25 meters in height, 16 millimeter tubes, multicolor, and medium sound. So, uh, but yeah, that looks like a really impressive cake. Looking forward to setting that one off. And then we have Diamond Princess, one of my all time favorites from uh, Brothers Pyrotechnics. Just an absolutely stunning, stunning cake from Brothers. Um, I don't think the um, the graphics do it justice. You sort of, you look at it and you think, oh, that's a pretty little looking thing. And then you set it off and it is just so loud. Um, it's an awesome cake. And I've used this as a finale for many displays of the 100, sort of 200 pound range. Um, and actually even a little bit more than that. It, it really is that good. 28 shots, 408 grams of powder, some massive breaks on it. So if you get the chance, do get the Diamond Princess. And this was another one of the cakes on offer. This is called Sumo, and uh, this is one of the Fireworks International cakes uh, that has been available for a while now. Uh, Fireworks International, in my view, don't quite create the fireworks they used to. Um, I only bought this because it was on offer. So um, it's 150 shots, again, a display in a box. Uh, I'm trying to see the price of it. I think it was. Um, I think it was around 30 quid, or maybe a little bit less than that. Uh, yes, it was 39 pounds. And having looked online, most places are selling it for 100. I think Fireworks International put a really high retail on it of like 135 pounds or something like that, which it definitely isn't worth that. Um, but you know, for 40 quid, it, it was a good buy. So I decided to, uh, to add that. So there we go, that is my 2018 stash video, take two. I um, hope you enjoyed it, and if you've got any questions or uh, any comments about uh, any of the products here in this video or uh, anything else that you might recommend me to have a look at, then by all means do let me know. Um, as always guys, please do give it a thumbs up and uh, please do subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have more videos coming up soon in the near future. Okay guys. Thanks very much and I will see you in the next video.